Broad Bay Church's Phase 1 construction began with a groundbreaking ceremony on November 8, 2019. David Wallace protected our historic organ. Callahan Construction protected the rest. The annex roof was removed, then a chunk of the lower level floor, some walls, the rest of the annex, and the rotting heavy timbers were exposed at the base of the steeple. The structure was shored up with steel beams and appeared to float on air. New timber wall sills were installed on new foundation walls. A new concrete floor was poured and wood framing began. Broad Bay's own forces built the new emergency exit stairs. Interior wood framing continued, followed by drywall. And the exterior trim and siding were cleaned up and replaced to match. All of that was done in six months. Now let's take a look at where we are today. Outside, a new handicap accessible walkway leads to where the restored front doors will go. Corner timber replacement work is still to come. Note the unfinished trim. A new underground drainage system will help keep our church dry. Here are John and Ray working on the new exit stair railings. Joe helped too with the stairs themselves. All in all, the entire steeple was stabilized and straightened, from new foundations all the way up. Now we need a paint job, among everything else in Phase 2. A new roof was installed under the bell, whose wood cradle is being rebuilt as well. It's a nice view of the Madamic River from up here. Now let's head inside. Here's where the restored entry doors will go, swinging out. We have a new porcelain tile floor. We picked one that looks like stone. Here are the new stairs heading up to the sanctuary. They'll have a carpet runner running down the middle. You can now see straight into the sanctuary through new window openings. The glass is still to come. Restored railings and newel posts are also to come. Let's take a walk upstairs. Remember this place? We'll be back soon. We have a new bathroom on this level now, too. No new doors yet. The toilet is on the opposite wall for sound reasons, away from the sanctuary. Here's the new handicap accessible lift. The lift will go to each level. The interior open-topped car is not in yet. 
the upper narthex is a much more welcoming space, and it will have heat. The narthex wall color is a historic green that pulls from the stained glass colors. The trim will be all off-white. Let's head into the sanctuary. The green color on the new wall is a mistake. It will be painted to match the rest of the sanctuary on this side. For building code reasons, the state fire marshal required that we remove the little stair next to the organ. Callahan will paint this area to match. We have a new emergency exit. The door and the painting work are still to come. Here's the new view from the pulpit. Let's take a walk. How about to the balcony? In phase two, these steps will be redone to be less steep. The balcony has been cleaned up. We had a lot of junk up here. The second stair was removed to make way for the new bathroom below. This area is a great spot for future video and audio needs. It's a nice view from here. How about a quick look at the steeple area? This area has been cleared out and we'll reposition those pews. Heading up. Here's the mid-upper steeple. Everything's been inspected, tightened, and repaired up here. Here you can see some of the replacement work under the corner posts, and the new dovetail work at the diagonals. Going downstairs now. Coming down from the sanctuary, you can see the new lift door and the new window. This new window is in the same location as the original stained glass one was years ago. The ramp to Hall's funeral home was over this area. Heading downstairs to an alcove where you can go to the fellowship hall or one of the two bathrooms down here. A new mirror grab bars, and baby changing station will be here. We picked a historic blue that will go with the white trim and gray tile. Here's the lower level door for the new lift.
Switching sides, here are the other stairs going down. Straight through there is the fellowship hall. All the flooring isn't in yet. Another bathroom is down here, plus storage, which opens up to the crawl space under the new floor. Now to the fellowship hall. The fellowship hall's renovation won't happen until phase two, but we do get a new little ramp due to the fellowship hall's floor not being level. Plus, two new windows are in place at the same location as they used to be a long time ago in the old church before the annex was added. Now that the annex is gone, we get a lot more light down here. The room looks much bigger as a result. Someday we'll fix it all up. We now have two doors on each side, instead of one door in the middle. Broad Bay Church's own forces will be painting the new wall as part of what we took over to save money. We have a new mechanical room that contains a new heat pump water heater. We also have a capped line for a future sprinkler system that will be installed as part of phase two. At the other corner, near the new windows, we have a storage room. The inside brick here will be repaired to some degree so that we can make this room suitable for storage with plywood and shelves. A quick look at the outer office completes our tour. Here's where the stairs behind the organ used to be. They still will paint these repaired walls to match. There's a lot more room in here without the stairs. We had some extra flooring from when these rooms were previously renovated. Now everything matches exactly. So what's next for Broad Bay Church? Well, we'll do phase two someday, but for now there's a little bit of phase one to still finish and then opening up as best as we can during the time of a global pandemic. The church's leaders are talking about all of that now. Until then, we are a blessed group Thankful to all those who helped and donated time and money to achieve something amazing. Someone is looking down on us. Thanks to Callahan Construction, their crew, Preservation Timberframe, and Barbie and Wheelock Architects, and the entire Waldeboro community 